After Lolette and Ocioso, we are finally moving on to Lord of the Sword. Which... That sounds promising. It's Kensei then, only it's set with Conan as the main character. It even uses the same noises and the same animation for the crouch attack. Which is hilarious, because it means that this particular red-headed barbarian is using some sort of fast draw to wield his broadsword. Which makes no sense. However, unlike Kensei then, you have a bow. Also, flying enemies that like to piss in your coffee and angry Picts that fall out of the sky and some sort of grey mysterious Sunfaladon fish that jumps out of the river to bite you in the fucking ass. Welcome to Lord of the Sword. Population you. Soon to be no one because goddamn you will not survive more than five minutes of this bullshit. I mean, seriously, the fish are literally leaping out of the river to murder you. And yeah, Picts are falling from the sky, waving their swords every which way, ripping you apart. And then you move on to the next year, and holy shit, armored beavers, what on earth is going on? And bats, bats everywhere, and suddenly a Pokemon sh shooting seed sprouts at you. Didn't expect that, did you, asshole? Well, guess what? You, you can't die. dodge. You can't dodge those fucking seeds because that's an area attack that is practically impossible to get away from. Suddenly, giant floating eye. Lord of the Sword is amazing because it throws everything at you, second one, and then you die. That was Lord of the Sword. Let's move on. Fun fact, actually, Lord of the Sword is even more difficult than Kansai Den. Mainly because, well, nothing makes any sense. You have no idea what's going on. Ever. <laughs> 